Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Um, this video is not an unboxing video, but this video is um, for um, my Dollar Tree and Dollar Finds. Um, so this one is um, my trip to the Dollar Tree and to Walmart, and I found some stuff in their dollar section. Um, and of course, it's all horror stuff. Yay! All right. So, I mean, I just, I love Halloween and I think it's amazing. Um, yes, I am holding my phone on account of uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of moving around. So, I um, kind of just wanted to hold my phone. Okay. So, first find is this cool little light bulb. Well, is it a light bulb? Eh, we're going to go with light bulb. It looks like a light bulb. See? It's an eye. But it glows. Different colors. I thought that was so neat. And these are at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Um, now, I know not all Dollar Trees carry the same thing. So, don't pipe my head off if you go to yours. And it doesn't have one. Um, also, this cool little mold. It's a brain. Um, I was thinking about uh, melting chocolate over in there and putting like some M&Ms on the inside of it for my kids for um, for Halloween. They like the idea of eating brains. So, uh, okay. So then I got another ice tray. I every year I get their ice trays. So this just makes me happy. Dun dun dun. dun. And then here's another ice tray. Did I mention that my favorite, favorite thing of all time is vampires? Like, if there was a such thing as being a vampire, that would be me. But we all know it's not a such thing, so. Uh, and then I have this window decoration, like window clean. It says, keep out. No, it's like weirdly, weird, can't really see it a whole lot on that, but it says keep out. Um, everything I've shown you so far is from the Dollar Tree, and this is my last item from the Dollar Tree. I thought it was so super cool, super neat. Yes, a lot of my yearly I can throw away decorations I do um, get from the Dollar Tree. Uh, and um, to be like even more exciting about this, um, most of my dollar items I actually, if like if you take care of how you put them up around the wall. I actually have reused mine several times. Um, I think this year might be the first year that I throw some of them away at the end of the season. All right, and then I went to Walmart and I found this hockey mask, dun, 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 dun. Jason mask for 98 cents. And I got two of them. Uh, plan on making a door wreath, wreath, wreath. I know how to spell it, but don't know how to say it. Um, but I plan on making one for my sister-in-law and one for me because she loves Halloween just as much as I do. Okay, so that was my dollar find, okay? Then my husband and my boys went shopping for me. And got me Oot movie, and I uh, actually don't know the price of this movie, and I actually don't know where they found it. But it's a horror movie or horror-ish movie, and I'd never seen it before, so they got it for me. So I thought that was neat. They were thinking of me. Oh, okay. And oh, actually, there was something else I found at the Dollar Tree. Uh, I can't believe I almost forgot this. Okay. Alright. Dollar Tree book Tales from the Night Side. I love reading horror just as much as I like um, watching. Um, next I have Unmarked. Um... I need to go back and find the first one. I found it at the Dollar Tree. Some Dollar Trees around here have good books. And then some of them have not so good books. And then some of them only have some of the books. 
and not all of them. But this is the book two in the Legion books. Uh, this one is unmarked, and it's by the co-author of Beautiful Creatures. And I am currently reading Beautiful Creatures, and I can tell that it's uh, the same person that uh, co-authored Beautiful Creatures because of the cover looks very similar on the front and the side cover looks similar. Um, but I was excited when I saw this. It says praise for unmarked. Oh, sorry. That's, that's a review on the back. Ooh. But anywho, uh, the name of this book is unmarked. Anywho, uh, I was excited when I saw it because I was like, I am loving the beautiful creatures book so far. So I have no doubt that that would be good. And then our next book, it says a novel, uh, titled tell the story to its end. Um, I picked this book up solely because the cover looked uh, extremely creepy. Um, but it looks like it's about a mythical creature of sorts. Um, a father who is not human. No, no. I'm, it's a small book, so it doesn't seem like it'll take long to get through. It's only 198 pages, so that's about two weeks of reading in my time with, you know, multiple children running around. And lastly, I got the tutor and I'm, I think this is the same as the TV show, the tutor, which for me will be awesome because, um, I love the TV show. I absolutely adore the TV show. So, but even if it's not, it, it's an old reading ish sort of thing. Uh, and I like those too. So I'm excited about those. And then I'm going to try to hurry up because my phone is about to die on me. Just got a notification that I have a low battery. <laughs> Can we have it all? All right. And then I kind of went crazy at um, Walgreens. This is the time of year where Walgreens has um, the, some of their Halloween stuff up. Not all of it, just some of it. Um, I am on a tight budget, so I did not get... As much as I would like, but, you know, still trying to get um, children clothes, myself clothes, you know, I've worn down my clothes to now. It, I, They just need to look better as a instructor in the school. I don't want, you know, to look like I'm homeless trying to teach kids. Anywho, I went to Walgreens and I have picked up the witch feet have a, a cauldron in um, my front, no, not in the front yard, is in the front of the house in my uh, rock bed, um, and it stays up year round, so I kind of like that these are purple, and even though they're Halloween, they're not like super duper Halloween-ish, so I'm probably going to keep these in there the year round as well, uh, but I like them. Um, I am getting a new puppy, even though I have two puppies. Well, they're not really puppies, two dogs. Um, one's an old man. One is like, you know, not so old, but not very young. And I'm, they're about to get a new brother. The new brother's name is Dracula Miklaus. And my husband is not loving the name because he thinks I'm a nerd. But, okay, whatever. Anyway, because his name is Dracula, I found a cheap little pillow. It's not meant for a doggy pillow, but it will be a doggy pillow until I find him a better pillow. And the pillow looks like this. Found it at Walgreens. I thought it was the cutest thing. And it's a little Dracula. So it's a Dracula for my Dracula. Okay. And then if... I just need something uh, to lay my head on while I'm on the couch. I bought me a, a matching pillow to my Jack Skellington. And she was also pretty cheap. And it's Sally. And it's an emoji style pillow because of the eyes. See? Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool. 
celebrating 25 years in the Jack Skellington world. All right, and then, let's see. I got some socks, some different variations of socks. I had to throw away a lot of my Jack socks from, uh, like, two years ago because I worn them down so bad that they have holes in them. And I can't be wearing no holy socks. All right, so before I show you the awesome socks, though, I did see this cool little thing there, um, and it's for my kitchen, and I'm actually super, super, super excited to put these up. So, they're towels, and these are, what I love the most about all of my Jack Skellington things is that, to me, it really does not matter that they're out, like, between Halloween and Christmas, because I would use these year-round. I mean, they're kitchen towels. I don't even care the print on them as long as it's not like old people print. Well, actually, never mind. I have some that have old people print on them. They get used. That's the bottom line. They get used. It doesn't matter the print. All right. And then for the socks, because they had some new socks out this year. And I love the socks because they're actually not as expensive as I thought they would be. They're like three bucks a pair. So, guys. And then... Sally and then the pumpkin king and then Sally again but uh, these are my favorite because they are teal now mind you they just started putting this stuff out and my Walgreens is almost already out of socks like that's how much people around here know what's going on um and I think that's it, actually. Yep, that's it. Uh, the other two things I have are actually not in this category of horror. One is a big thing of coffee for work. Bought me a thing of Folgers for work. And then I bought a movie, uh, God's Not Dead 2, because we watched the first one, and we really liked the first one, so I just bought the second one. Um, and it was actually not that price that's on the tag. I don't know if you can see that price. 1995. It was not that price. Um, I thought it was that price when I put it on the counter, and when he scanned it, it was on sale, like half the price on sale. So I was pretty stoked about that too. Um, so that is all I have for you. Until next time, bye.